Hello friends, we are continuing with the MCQ discussion and this is next question. Which of the following statement regarding GDP is correct? GDP से संबंधित कौन सा statement इन में correct statement है? GDP at current price is called real GDP. GDP at base price is called real GDP. Friends, जब GDP का calculation at current prices है, then it is called nominal GDP. जब GDP का calculation base price के उपर है, then we call it real GDP. So here, answer is GDP at base price is real GDP. Which of the following is a subsystem of HRD? इन में से कौन सा HRD का subsystem है? HRD में बहुत सारे subsystems हैं और उन में से training it is a subsystem, career path planning it is another subsystem, performance appraisal it is another subsystem and there are many more. So here the answer is all of these are subsystems of HRD. Giving of information and knowledge through speech, written word or other method of demonstration to a learner is called what? Second part, the process of absorbing that information in order to increase skills and abilities and make use of their is called. So, यहाँ पे इस statement के दो parts हैं and these are the options. First part, learning या training को relate करता है. Second part, training या learning को relate करता है and we have to find the appropriate sequence. Giving of information and knowledge through speech, written word or other method of demonstration to a learner is called. इस part को हम कहते हैं training. And process of absorbing that information in order to increase skills and abilities and make use thereof. उस part को हम कहते हैं learning. So the correct order here is training and learning. And this is our answer. Two factor hypothesis leading to job satisfaction and job dissatisfaction takes into account motivational factors and hygiene factors according to which theory of motivation. So there are various theories of motivation. One of those is a motivational factor and hygiene that is two factor theory. That two factor theory is given by Herzberg theory. As per Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory, five needs include social needs, self-esteem needs, physiological needs, safety needs and self-actualization needs. What is the correct order of these? So, यहाँ पे जो order दिया गया है in needs का, because these are in hierarchy, एक के बाद एक. So, this order is not okay. We have to find out the correct order and these are our options. So, first need जो है, that is physiological needs. So, here number three is the first thing. So, here we can find number three. So, here we have the number three. So, it means there is a possibility of this answer being correct, but we can test it. So, first need is physiological needs. Second need is safety need. Third need is social needs. Fourth need is self-esteem needs. And fifth level is self-actualization needs. It means this answer is a correct one. Which of the following statement is not correct in relation to e-learning? E-learning से संबंधित इन में से कौन सा statement गलत है? Learner can study at his own pace. Learner अपनी speed से, अपने understanding के साब से study कर सकता है. This is correct. It induces a sense of isolation. इसमें learner को अकेले तौर पे पढ़ना पड़ता है. So it can induce a sense of isolation. So this also is correct can be cost effective as well as costly. So it can be cost effective from learner's point of view. Learner ko iske upar kam paisa kharch karna padta hai, kam time kharch karna padta hai. But it can be very costly. It is from the provider's point of view. So this statement is also correct. And none of these is the answer. Let us now go to the 
next part next question here is based on financial information in the table calculate हमें एक टेबल दिया है उसमें कुछ बेसिक फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड की गई है एंड वी हैव टू मेक सर्टेन कैलकुलेशन सो दिस इज द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस कैपिटल एंड रिजर्व 45 ये अमाउंट लैक्स में है लॉन्ग टर्म लोन 75 बैंक वर्किंग कैपिटल आउटस्टैंडिंग बैलेंस 100 अदर करंट लाइबिलिटीज एट्टी टोटल लाइबिलिटीज थ्री फिक्स्ड एसेट्स 80, इंटेंजिबल एसेट्स 5, नॉन करंट एसेट्स 15, स्टॉक्स 90, अदर करंट एसेट्स 110, सो टोटल एसेट्स 300 एंड टोटल सेल इज 900. सो दिस इज इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस. लेट अस नो बेस्ड ऑन दिस सी द क्वेश्चंस. फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज डेट इक्विटी रेशियो फ्रेंड्स टू कैलकुलेट डेट इक्विटी रेशियो वी नीड द इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटिंग टू लॉन्ग टर्म लोन और लॉन्ग टर्म लाइबिलिटीज एंड टेंजिबल नेटवर्थ टेंजिबल नेटवर्थ कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज कैपिटल एंड रिजर्व माइनस इन टेंजिबल एसेट्स सो हियर वी गो विद द रेशियो सो दिस रेशियो विल बी 1.87. So how we will calculate this ratio? Long-term loans are 75. Tangible net worth is 40. So capital and reserve 45 minus 5. That is 40. 75 divided by 40. We give. We get this answer 1.87. Second, how do you interpret current ratio? सो करंट रेशियो पहले हमें वर्कआउट करना होगा देन वी विल बी एबल टू इंटरप्रेट इट सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट करंट रेशियो सो करंट लाइबिलिटीज का अमाउंट यहां पे पहले हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे बैंक वर्किंग कैपिटल इज अ 100 दिस इज अ करंट लाइबिलिटी अदर करंट लाइबिलिटीज इज 80 हेंस टोटल करंट लाइबिलिटीज आर 180 सो अमाउंट ऑफ करंट लाइबिलिटीज इज 180 नाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट अमाउंट ऑफ करंट एसेट्स आल्सो so current assets include stocks and other current assets so total value is 200 so 200 divided by 180 we get current ratio at 1.11 so here current ratio is 11 when current ratio is 11 it is much below the benchmark current ratio benchmark current ratio means the current ratio jisko hum ideal maan ke chalte hain That ratio is 1.33 is to 1, and in this case it is 1.11 only. Hence we can say that the liquidity position of this firm at this moment is poor. So the current ratio indicate करेगा इसमें poor liquidity. In previous year the inventory turnover ratio was six. So previous year में ये ratio six था. How do you rate management of inventory based on current year data? So inventory का management current year data के बेस के ऊपर हम किस प्रकार से interpret करेंगे? So we can make the calculation. So here we are making the calculation stock turnover ratio for current year. So total sale हमारे पास 900 है, stocks का value 90 है, so inventory turnover ratio हम इसके बेसिस के ऊपर calculate कर सकते हैं. This is what we have calculated. So 900 divided by stock value, 10 times is the ratio. So previous year my ratio six tha, or ab ratio 10 times hai. This means the ratio has increased. So based on this, we can say that stock management has become better. So it has shown improvement in stock management. So that is how we can. do this question let us now go to next question what is correct for commercial paper so in me say commercial paper se sambandhit correct statement kaun sa hai it is issued as a promissory note this is a correct statement 
it is issued at a discount to face value this also is a correct maximum maturity is a 12 months this also is a correct this means all these statements are correct statement in connection with commercial paper project appraisal involves following type of appraisal jab hum project ko appraise karte hain to unme different type ki appraisals include hoti hain let us see which appraisal is involved technical feasibility yes this appraisal is required economic appraisal so this is financial appraisal this also is required managerial appraisal this also is required it mean all these appraisals are part of project appraisal process willful defaulter is a loan defaulter who is loan defaulter tab willful defaulter ban jata hai jab inme se koi condition puri hoti hai earning adequate profit agar wo defaulter hai aur adequate profit bhi earn kar raha hai this mean he is a willful defaulter so this part is correct sells loan securities unauthorizedly jo loan securities ko bagair bank ko puche bech deta hai so he is also willful defaulter diverts business funds jo business ke funds ko divert kar deta hai so he is also willful defaulter so all these conditions fulfill the condition of a loan defaulter being declared as willful defaulter deferred tax liability in the balance sheet of a firm is part of jo deferred tax liability hai wo balance sheet mein in mein se kiska part banti hai friends deferred tax liability means which is not payable immediately hence it is not a current liability but since it is not payable immediately it is payable in future after some time period so it is medium term liability or it is a non current asset so deferred tax liability is not a asset hence our answer is medium term liabilities well friends we will continue with the discussion in the next part of the lecture also thank you